So with the Crash trilogy being done and dusted, the next logical step would be to plot the next game in the series, right? Exactly! And that's what I set out to do. That being said, I've seen many horror stories about this game throughout my time on YouTube by various creators. But I still thought to myself, this game can't be that hard to finish, right? Yeah, well, I might have bitten off a bit more than I can chew with this one. But that question will be answered throughout this video, so be sure to stick until the end. With that being said, this is by far the hardest game that I've ever attempted at a 9 out of 10 in terms of difficulty and would take me around 100 plus hours to finish. Why 100 plus hours you ask? Well, the answer is quite simple actually, to go from being a noob. Oh this is so cool, I love this about this game. The fact that you can do, have all these abilities. Oh, and I just cost it bro. I promise that was my controller, it wasn't me. It's not a skill issue. I promise. To this and mastering all of the game that's on it. So you just don't have to worry about going over there. This is a good run. Here we go. We're good. We solid, I think. Oh bro, I'm so tense. Okay, we got this, we got this, we got this, we got this, we got this. Focus up. We got the invincibility mask as well. This should be a good one. Okay, this should be good. Okay, focus up. Don't do anything stupid, Sean. Can even do the skip here. That should be it. That should be it, bro. There's no way I don't make this. No! Oh my goodness. Trying to throw right at the end, bro. That should be it. First platinum relic in the bag. Oh, bro, my heart. I don't, you guys can't see, or obviously you can't see this, but like, bro, my heart is beating right now. <laughs> and I need to do that how many more times? Oh, bro, what did I get myself into? Oh, and let's not forget to die over and over and over and over. But by now, you get the point. Firstly, I need to play through and finish the game. This would be to get used to all of the mechanics presented, as there are way more in this game than in the previous installments in the series. I also live stream most of the story, and there is a playlist on my channel, but here are the trophies. Quick disclaimer though, I missed recording the ending of this game as well as the insanely perfect relics. At the time, I was waiting on new recording gear, so apologies for the, that part of the game not being present in this video. We must know! <laughs> hey, altitude sickness, what is this for? Crouch or slide into a double jump. I mean... Activision is trying to buy it. Or maybe it's coming as soon as they do actually acquire... Um... Activision. But I think definitely start with this game is that feels really good. Because if you if you start with this game though, the problem is if you start with this game and you go back to the others. Oh, taking the side road. Uh complete a bonus path. Nice. Dated if I can put it that way. But it's I think it's still worth the play. Okay, 
this game is definitely harder than the trilogy. Like I thought Clash 1 was hard, but I think this game is much harder. Hey, I got the first gym. Invincible, what is that for? Beat the story level without dying. Nice. Uh, so called perfectionist. Earn an insanely perfect really. I didn't expect to pop some meter of this at once. Reality shattering portions. Meet Lani. Lani. Shut up. Megaphone. It in. Shut the engine up. Megaphone in it. Uh, megaphone it. Uh, eh. I can't say that. But in terms of the story, like chron chronologically, AV Club Founder. Nice. Acquire a flashback deck. I was like, nah, I don't want to play any further. Beaten with his own drum. I think that's to beat the engine. Defeat the engine and his weapon of mass percussion. <laughs> Bro, these trophy names are actually sick. Yeah. No dark side is for me, I guess. Oh, wait, wait, were you referring to something else, Shred? <laughs> I feel like you were referring to something else and I just blanked on it. Pardon the pun. I think only you will understand that one. Bro, one gem again. Oh, secret protagonist. What's this for? So silent protagonist. Akona. Meet Akona. I didn't meet him. Or did I skip a cutscene? Too many toxic topics happening in chat. <laughs> Silence the scientist. What's that? Shut up, embryo. So do you have to shut up everyone for a trophy? This is the one in the chat. So your me. Literally everything after GX is a blur to me. I tried to get into Yu-Gi-Oh again, like to rewatch the actual anime, but I was like. Ah, bro, how did I watch this back in the day? But obviously you were a kid back then, so it was cool. Still cool, but like, it didn't age well. I feel like you can't go back, I can't go back and watch it again. That's a little too... Oh, the dialogue is so cringe. But maybe the, the Japanese version is better. Like the sub. Okay, I'm not gonna fumble this again. Just keep my spinning. Nice. Master Mixologist. Next trophy. Defeat. What are those gems? Oh, the inverted mode. Kinda makes sense that he used the, he used the inverted thing in the fight. Excellent! The classic crash skin unlocked. That's actually crazy. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, gas it up. Try on a skin. Nice.
damn, 50 boxes, bro. I can see from time. Hey, meet uh, Kapunawa. Sick. Nice, 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 nice. I just took a leap of faith and actually made it through. Like, I genuinely don't know what I can do to be going faster right now. I haven't messed up a single section. Oh, there we go. I was about to say... I still miss boxes though. Damn it. Ups and downs, this is full. Ika, Ika, Ika. I'll read that message now, I couldn't. This stupid guy. Twin Sanity. Defeat the doctors in trophy. Oh, I'm locked in. I'm locked in now, boys. I'm locked in now, boys. Ooh, I nearly missed the jump. I'm locked in now, boy. Sudden but inevitable. Betrayed by your worst enemy. <laughs> Soon after finishing the game, I'm slowly getting better and have a good understanding of all the mechanics. I have also unlocked the triple spin and this would become a crucial bit of tech needed for the time relics coming up. I then combined two trophies which was for getting all of the clear gems and secondly for getting all of the insanely perfect relics. So just to give you guys a bit of context as to the difficulty ahead of me at this point, I will just give you guys a brief breakdown of what these trophies consisted of. Firstly, to collect all of the clear gems I had to get 80% of the Wampa fruit in the level, break all of the boxes in the level finish the level with no less than 3 deaths and finally for getting the hidden gem in the level and this would also be needed to be done for every single level in the game yep yeah, you heard it every single level but that's not where it stops one of the two trophies that scare people away from going for this plat is the perfectionist trophy this is for getting the insanely perfect relics on all the levels and to put it into context an insanely perfect relic is achieved for getting all of the boxes in the level without dying once. This made it extremely hard as certain levels had more than 400 boxes and if you miss one, that essentially means that you need to restart the level. Combining these two trophies was literally hell on earth and I wish I had the means to record this, but take my word for it, it was stupidly hard. This made the bulk of my 100 hours in this game, so it's safe to say that this was the hardest challenge that the game presents. After that torture, I opted for doing something a little less stressful, which was the flashback tapes. These were another set of levels focused on breaking all the boxes. Luckily, it was much easier than the previous challenge, so it served as a much needed break. Don't be mistaken though, they were still challenging at some times. I then set my sights on the inverted mode clear gems. This is essentially the same game all over again with filters slapped over them while also being murdered. Honestly, I think it was a way to artificially increase playtime and I don't think anyone enjoyed it in my humble opinion. We had things like underwater filters which changed your character's weight all the way to an old school arcade filter which was my personal favorite out of the bunch. All those requirements I mentioned earlier for the clear gems, yep, you guessed it, they had to be done here again. Luckily, you only had to do the insanely perfect relic once on either version of the level. But you could imagine my frustration with this game after doing all of these things twice. But at the end of the day, we all slaves to the shiny platinum trophy, so why am I even complaining, right? And also, the bragging rights of having the Crash 4 on your trophy list? That's not something that a lot of people can say they have. So you're probably thinking to yourself, these inverted gems couldn't have been that hard to do, right? considering I already finished all the clear gems in my initial playthrough of the game. Well, that's who you're wrong. This is just a little clip to show you guys of the troubles that I faced while going for these clear gems. Yeah, here we go. That's all boxes. Yes, sir! Okay, hidden gem again, and three deaths. Yep, 
and we should get the trophy. I'll be back in a second. Let me just do my research. Jump, dash, jump, dash. No! Bro, I'm wasting unnecessary lives here! Kidding me? Bro, oh, this is so. <laughs> oh my goodness, man! Bro, <laughs> oh, I am selling so hard. Let me just say start, bro, because I'm still at the beginning. <laughs> I think I messed up what he did, bro. How the hell am I gonna get up there? Bro, what the hell? Here we go. Okay, I used up all my deaths. If I can get through this unscathed now, then I can get both and get the trophies. Um, so I'm gonna try for that, but hey, let's, let's see if I got the tick. Got the tick so far. Ooh, that was close. Why did I just slide jump there? I never do a slide jump. Ooh. Yeah, that was risky. No! I, I swear I pressed the button. Oh well, it just means I need to do another run. It's not the end of the world. Would have been cool for the video though, but it is what it is, right? You can't win them all. Why am I doing this to myself, bro? I'm just gonna take my time. I don't know why I'm trying to be so Oh my god. I'm actually going to lose my mind. I'm actually going to lose my mind. Okay, take your time. Two, three, four, five, bang. Ah! That was close. I nearly jumped into the laser, bro. What am I doing? this in one run. Okay, we are basically in the same predicament because I was rushing, uh, but as you guys can see, I have three lives, or th I've used three lives already, so I can't fail anymore, otherwise I need to start this over again, 
which I'm not going to do. There we go. No, 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 this game, <laughs> this game is out to get me, bro. There is no way. How am I failing something I've done so many times? I am actually speechless right now, bro. Again? Back to the start we go, I guess. Bro, are you kidding me right now? Bro, what am I doing? Finally, bro. Jeez. There's no way I mess this up. This is like the part I'm most comfortable with. I don't know if I'm... Wait, am I capping? Was this the part I was dying on the whole time? Thank you, bro. Thank you! Give me my trophies. Oh my goodness. I think that one is for doing all the inverted levels. Wait, am I not supposed to get one for all the hidden... For all the gyms as well? 100% completion. Yeah, I got everything. Wait, 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 wait a second, wait a second. Wait a second. Let's get to the party, my dish. Oh! I know what I need to do. I need to finish the last level on inverted. That's this one. Backwards and forwards, that is for completing all the inverted modes. 
There we go, there we go. And I think there is another trophy that we can get if we go to the gallery and watch. No, not pictures. If you watch this, there we go. Overachiever, that is for watching the 100% bonus ending. Yes, sir. Finally, I had to get the platinum time relics on all the levels. These were time trials that were very unforgiving and was the second reason why people look the other way when the crash for platinum is brought up. Like previously mentioned, I had to make use of the triple spin a lot here and still found myself 10 to 15 whole seconds too slow on multiple occasions. But like any challenge, I think with enough time spent trying it over and over again, you eventually build up the skill and knowledge to complete it. With that being said, I'm going to let the final few platinum time relics play out. But if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell to see any of these videos as soon as they drop. Please. Oh my goodness, bro. That took way too long. Four more levels.
Come on, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. That's it. That's it. Toxic tunnel's done. Bro. Bro. <laughs> yes. Yes, man. Come on. Oh, my goodness. This damn level, bro. It comes back to haunt me every single damn time. Every single time. Oh, the insanely perfect relic. The normal run through. The inverted run through. The time trials, bro. Ah, that, that level is such a pain. Come on, come on. Please, 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 please. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Finally, bro! Oh, faster than sound, is that what it's called? Oh, bro, it took me so long. Finally! I'm... I'm actually gonna get the platinum trophy for Crash 4. Do you guys understand how crazy that is <laughs> oh my goodness oh i'm trying to contain my excitement so much because it's like 12 a.m here and uh, my mom is sleeping so i don't want i don't want to shout but no come on oh 106 completion earned hell yes okay wait wait sorry someone followed me on instagram now <laughs> Skip. Oh, there we go. Fleet of feet. Okay, guys, so now we need to basically do the exact same thing. Run through the same level, just die the whole time. Um, and then do it for great combo instead of uh, checkpoint base. So I'm going to do that quickly and get that trophy. That should be the last death, if I'm not mistaken. Here we go, settle the score. Okay, what else do we still need to do? What? Okay, so the next trophy that I need is to complete the level with pass and play enabled. I need to do two players and then... Yeah. 
think that's it. Now I just need to finish the the level. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna speed run this quickly and then. That should be the trophy. Yep. No, it's my turn. That is the pause and play trophy. Okay, okay. Okay, so for this trophy, you see, you guys see the gong up there? I need to hit four of them, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, four. Throughout the level. Yeah, I hit one. And now there's three more that I need to get. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Here's number two. Go and then this is the fourth one. There we go. I made home. Okay, so the next trophy is in this level. Um, I've seen this. This is actually a cool trophy. I've seen this so many times on other people's videos. Um, in regards to Crash Four, so I should essentially just need to grind and collect all of these berries, and that will give me a trophy. Here we go, got everything. You see, this is so cool, I love this. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. I'm not gonna fight them though. I have done this before, I will not do it again. Thank you. Quit to map, and now we need one more trophy. And uh, I saved this one for last intentionally because it's I need to watch the 106 bonus ending. So this is for completing everything in the game. Um, let's just do it and get our plat. Bro, I've been waiting for so long. Let me actually show you guys how long I've been playing this game. 109 hours played, bro. Like I think it's more close to like 100 because there was times where I was just idling. But let's get the trophy. Overachiever. Over overachiever, sorry. Here we go! Master Marsupial! Oh my goodness, bro. This is my hardest platinum trophy. This took me so long. Oh, so much pain. Look at Uka Uka. I love Uka Uka, bro. Regardless. What a sick game. But that being said. Just get, get, get off my console, actually. <laughs> oh my goodness.